Hi, this is Andy with your Mobilize review of Freshdesk. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up your Freshdesk account as an admin. And as you can see here, we have the front end of a Freshdesk system here. And what Freshdesk is, is it's a support portal. So you have three different features with most uh, Freshdesk items. You have a knowledge base here where you could actually provide something like a wiki or a FAQ and information. So if people want to just check out different common questions, they can go there. You also have different announcements that you could post over here with the green one in the middle. And then you also have, finally, for number three, you have a community forum where people could submit tickets and feature requests and report problems and post announcements and tips and tricks and whatever other questions that people have on a regular basis about your product. So we're going to be talking specifically about how to set up your Freshdesk account. To do that, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to log in to your account. Now you will receive a custom URL. This one's mushrooms.freshdesk.com. Whatever yours is, you go there, you go log in, and you'll see here that there is a support portal here. You enter in your details, and this takes you to the admin area. Now obviously this one is, this account is already set up, so but we're just going to walk you through the three steps that you're going to want to do once you have a fresh desk account. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in here to the admin area, see up here in the menu, you're going to click the admin, see here at the, where it says support channels, there's a few different support channels, we'll talk about some of the other ones like the fresh chat and fresh phone and Twitter and Facebook in the next video. Right now you're going to want to go to email and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to add a support email so everything can start going into your email and it, wherever you want to be shipped out to different emails so you can track what's going on and you can stay in touch with different emails and different support functions from your Freshdesk account. So that's the first thing you want to do. You want to go click new support email create an email, click save, and that's step number one is to create an email. Step number two, go up here to the menu, see where it says solutions, and you click on solutions, and this is like we were talking about before, the knowledge base. Whenever you want to add different folders to the knowledge base, you can go add folder, and you can give just a name, description. If you want to create another one, you go save and create another, or just save. In this case we're going to cancel uh, and then what you're going to want to do is uh, if you have any changes that you need to make you can just go into edit and make the changes from here so that's the second thing you want to do you want to for your knowledge base you're going to want to create the different categories and the categories like here you have FAQ you could see you could start adding different solutions inside of these categories so whenever people have generally asked questions for your business they can put it here or you could put it here and just add on as you continue to go. So that's number two, solutions. Number three is how to incorporate this with your website. Now like we said, there is a domain account that you can get yourdomain.freshdesk.com if you just want prospect or you want clients to go there. However, if you want this to be incorporated in your website, the third thing you want to do is go here to this feedback widget. What this does is it allows you to embed either a pop-up widget or just an embed, embedded widget right here and you can customize this a little bit as you can see and you actually copy and paste this JavaScript code into your website and it will actually show the Freshdesk information for your website inside of your own website so that way uh, prospects and clients can actually go into your website and actually submit tickets from there, check your knowledge base, whatever questions that they need, they put it in here through the portal, they'll be on your site directly. So those are the three things you need to do if you want to get started. First thing we talked about is the go up to admin email. Second thing is solutions, where you can just add things to your knowledge base. And third thing is setting up the feedback widget if you want to do so. So in the next video, we're going to be talking about some of the major 
features of Fresh Test, including the Fresh Phone, some of the uh, team features, and also in addition to that, the social feature, uh, among many others. So, hope you could join us there. See you then. <laughs>